Affordable, comfortable, and even somewhat entertaining behind the wheel? That's right, we've got a compact sedan showdown. And today we're pitting the 2021 Nissan Sentra against the 2021 Hyundai Elantra. The Sentra was totally redesigned back in 2020, so it's still pretty fresh. New for 2021 though is the fact that Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are now standard on all trims and the Nissan Connect Wi-Fi hotspot is now offered on the SR trim. There's also a new color available on that SR model, blue metallic with a black roof. With the Elantra, it's totally new for this model year, so styling inside and out as well as some sportier options are all on the menu. There's no more Elantra GT, but you can get an N-Line model and there's even an upcoming track-focused Elantra N. On the outside, the Sentra keeps things relatively simple, sticking with the current Nissan design language. That means some arching over the wheels, especially in the rear fender treatment, and then an aggressive nose and grille area that isn't overdone. In fact, it ties in nicely with the headlight design and styling flourishes on the hood and lower fascia. Hyundai, meanwhile, goes a bit more aggressive here. The grille is toothy and large for the car. The slight fastback shape is appealing, but we don't love that over-stylized element done in the door area. It looks like the car comes pre-dented. The rest, though, works well and helps the car stand out in a crowded segment. Inside, though, Hyundai steps it way up. The available dual display screens are great, as is wireless smartphone charging, wireless Apple CarPlay available even on the base model, and an optional Bose eight-speaker audio system. The layout is great and driver-centric, and the cabin is quite comfortable. Nissan isn't slacking with the interior on the center, though, either. The automaker has been working hard to add a far more premium experience for driver and passengers alike. In fact, the SV spec model with the premium package gets quilted leather seats, six-way power adjustable driver's seat with two-way lumbar support, heated front seats, and a power moonroof. Under the hood, it's the Hyundai that takes the edge. The base Elantra uses a two-liter four-cylinder engine making 147 horsepower and 132 pound-feet of torque paired with a CVT, and it's good for 35 miles per gallon in combined driving. That beats the 33 miles per gallon combined driving rating for the Sentra, which also uses a two-liter four-cylinder and a CVT, but the Nissan engine makes 149 horsepower and 146 pound-feet of torque. Further, Hyundai has more options here. The Elantra Hybrid uses a 1.6 liter four-cylinder engine that works with a 32 kilowatt electric motor to deliver 54 miles per gallon in combined driving. It meters out 139 horsepower and 195 pound-feet of torque through a six-speed dual-clutch gearbox. Then you have the N-Line version that uses a turbocharged 1.6 liter four-cylinder engine, which sends 201 horsepower out to the front wheels and it can be had with a seven-speed DCT or a six-speed manual. We don't know what's gonna power the Elantra N yet, but it should prove to be quite an entertaining machine. Hyundai gets a slight edge on the bottom end of the price lineup too. The base Elantra SE starts at $19,650. The Elantra SEL Hybrid starts at $23,550, and a very nicely equipped Elantra Hybrid Limited is $28,100. The Elantra N-Line starts at 24,100 and swaps out the rear torsion beam setup for a multi-link suspension. Nissan starts the base Sentra S at $20,335 and it comes very nicely loaded up for an entry point car. The top spec SR model costs just $22,675 and adds on 18 inch alloy wheels, LED headlights, a rear spoiler and a leather wrapped shift knob. So Nissan is priced more smartly on its most heavily equipped models but there's no hybrid or higher performance model to push the price higher to compete with equivalent Elantra variants. So we wanna give kudos to the Sentra for offering some really nice features and an above class interior at an ultra competitive price in a competitive segment. But the new Elantra is a bit better in most other categories from its engine offerings and interior tech onto its class leading powertrain warranty. The Sentra is fine, but the Elantra is one of the best choices in its class. And that's before the far sportier Elantra N even arrives.